Well, hey there, Internet. It's David, and I'm doing a video on Alan Readers, which is one of my favorite editions. So I realized a lot of my videos are mostly Skylar Bibles, and it's because I just started filming Bible reviews. I did my first one probably a year ago, and I brought some Alan and Skylar in Cambridge and had all those on my quality Bible video. And so as of late, most of my Bible review videos have been all Skylar because that's just what I'm getting, and they keep coming out with new awesome stuff. Most of my Allens were purchased before I started filming. Honestly, I have three other Allen Bibles, so these are all my readers. I'm not going to look at each one individually, I don't think, but we'll see. But I have three more Allens before this. All three of them just, in my opinion, didn't live up to the hype, and so I don't... I think I looked at some of them at different points on some other videos that I had, or I'll use them every once in a while, but they, in my mind they just didn't live up to the hype of what I had always heard an Allen Bible should be. Uh, the second one I had was really almost an absolute tragedy and kind of almost made me never buy another Allen Bible ever. But this reader stack came about after my wife got settled in on an Allen Readers for herself. And when it came in, I was floored and I was mad. I have three Allen Bibles and why aren't they like the readers? And so her first one was the Chant Bound ESV readers. And so even within the readers, it's, uh, let's see, there's five in this stack. Allie's got two readers in her room. She's got the tan ESV and then she's got a Petra Blue New American Standard that you might have seen in other videos or pictures. And this is my stack of the readers. And most of them are ESV, one New American Standard, and one New Living Translation. And it's incredible how they're all unique. Even from color to color, they vary from the same bindery. And then even within Allen bindings, they use a number of different uh, binderies. It, is that a word, binderies? Can I say binderies? They use a number of them. So Chant, uh, Charfleet, and Youngblood. I don't know if I hadn't seen anything from Charfleet for a little bit, so I don't know if they still use them or not. I'm not super knowledgeable on that. I just know that I like these guys, and so I have all three separate binderies represented here. And uh, what got me thinking about this video, honestly, is I just had this one come in. It is the ESV readers, but with the multicolored ribbons. And so I was always been a sucker for that, and so. They pop up every once in a while, and I had a, a friend write me that had a friend who was getting rid of one, and so I was able to get a hold of this one, and so I was I was super excited. What impressed me the most about this one, and now this one is a chant binding, but the grain on the brown was just so deep and amazing, and those, uh, just the multicolored ribbons, again, I'm such a sucker for that. And just lays nice and flat like the other readers do. All the binderies do a great job. They just have their own unique flair of things that they emphasize or don't emphasize. And so the big deal about the Allen readers to me is just the nice big page with the nice big font, good enough margins to be able to cross-reference in. Uh, the ESV and the New Living are both paragraph format. The New Living has red letter. The ESV and the New American Standard are black letter. But I, I like the footprint. I like that they're a little bit uh, bigger. Well, I mean, no bigger footprint than maybe just an actual hardbound study Bible. I like how they're so thin. But again, the pages are big enough that it's just, it's so easy to read. And so I like these. I think my wife had made mention of an Allen Reader being like curtains draping across her legs. But all these are just incredible. I'm, I'll go through a, a quick look at all these and give you my thoughts. But I'm going to start with the Charfleet New Living Translation Red Goat Skin. The Charfleet, as far as the binding and the hinge, this is probably the most flexible cover and flexible hinge of all of the readers that I have. Again, I don't have the newer editions of the ESV or the New American Standard, which I think you can still find at Bibles Direct right now until they're out of them and then they have to do a reprint to get them back in stock. But this one, 
is just, this will contour to really whatever you have it on. And this is the most flexible hinge of, of all these guys. Just a big old red floppy Bible. So I like this one, it's from Charfleet. And the liner in here is a little bit thinner than it is on the other editions from the other binderies. Again, if I'm making up a word, someone please let me know, because I don't want to say weird things or untrue things. I'm not an expert, I'm just a geek. So sometimes we get them confused, but I'm just a geek. I don't proclaim to be an expert here. Alan's kind of signature trademark thing is the yeah. And so you've got this oversized floppy cover. And I will make mention, when you open these, they do feel different in your hand. Like, you can hold a Bible with a yap different than you can a Bible that doesn't have a yap that's going to curl over the pages. It's almost like a handlebar for your Bible, <laughs> if that makes sense, where you can just grab it on the side of the pages here and you're not going to hurt your pages. Like, I would never do that. I, I would never hold my Bible like that on one with a yap. I have my hand like a little bit farther out here, but I don't know if that's too much geek for you. But I, I like the yaps. I like how I'm able to hold an Allen. It's the feature that makes it the most unique. All the covers are floppy, but I would say the, the Charfleet has the thinnest liner, and so that's gonna give it the floppiest cover. And this is Highland Goatskin. On this one, and so I have other Highland Goatskin editions just because of the liner that they put in here. It's not as flexible. So flexible hinge, flexible cover, probably more so than the other ones. Actually, not probably. Definitely more so than the other ones. I'm not gonna open this one up too much, but it's just my commemorative edition Allen Readers. It's a, uh, it's a different cover. It's a smooth, flat cover. It breaks in kind of nice, but the only thing I don't like about it is when it breaks in, you can start seeing the... Uh, I don't know if the lighting will, will pick it up, but there's some creases in the cover just from from using it that would not be so pronounced if it was the deeper grain and not this flat, uh, shiny cover that they have on these things. But still, I think the color's genius. Um, this one, even though I believe these were done at Chant, because the other editions were done at Chant, it is just a super duper flexible hinge, and so it just lays flat uh, right out of the box, this one did. And this one, was number 88 of 150 made. And so I actually use this one a lot, but I have not been able to bring myself to write in this one yet. I usually I'll have an edition that I write in, and so this has been my same edition from the same running in the TAN ESV readers. And so I write in this one and leave this one blank, so I always have one I can look at with fresh eyes and not be so blinded by my own markings. If you're wondering why I didn't open up the tan, I'm gonna open up the brown one again here in a second. But I wanted to skip that one and go right to the New American Standard readers. They have newer ones out there. I really like this edition. I highlighted this one in one of my latest videos on premium Bible field test and how this is worn in and broken in, because I use this one a lot. But it's still another Allen Readers New American Standard. This one's been a daily use and a daily study and note-taking Bible in it. Now, you'll see this one doesn't lay as flat as the other ones. This one was uh, bound in young blood. It's not pronounced Joenblonged or Jongblowed. It's young blood. I'm like 95% sure. Been hearing guys say young blood. My fun thing that I learned in 2018, because for so many years I was like Joenblowed. I, I don't know, but now I know how to say it. And so I'm kind of still a geek, but I'm learning my words, okay? Young blood. This one was bound in young blood. And so this binding, you can see it teetering back and forth. The other ones won't do that because they just open way flat. And so this hinge is a lot stiffer than the Charfleet hinge. But my favorite feature is even though the cover is still floppy, and you've got this navy blue liner in here on the black edition, even though the cover is still nice and floppy, it's a much thicker cover. And so to me, just if if the cover's nice and thick, it feels like I'm getting something a little bit more quality. And so 
when they started releasing the readers from Chant and then Youngblood was when Alan started to kind of be redeemed in my mind after the first three editions that I had because honestly Skylar came out a few years ago and I had my first Skylar after I got my third Alan and I was just blown away by Skylar and what they were able to do. My first edition from them was a New King James in single paragraph format and I was just blown away. I'm like, this is everything that I thought an Allen would be from reading all this stuff about Allens. But I will say they do not disappoint with the readers. So I've been very pleased with this one so far. If you're curious to see how it's broken in through the last few years of me using it on a daily basis, preaching out of it on a weekly basis, then look at the Premium Bible Field Test video, which is an, it's a recent upload, so you don't have to scroll down too far. Now, what's really cool between Youngblood and the Charfleet bindings are these chant bindings. And so the covers and the hinges seem to be like in between those two in just spectacular ways. And so you saw my tan just briefly, and I look more at the tan in my Quality Bible Publishers video that's a year or so, so old, but it's probably my highest viewed video on the channel so far. And you can look at the tan more on that one if you want to go back to it. But this is from the same running, and the grain on this brown is just so deep and rich. Uh, this is probably the closest I have ever seen an Allen be to my expectations of what I thought an Allen would look and feel like has been this edition. And I just got this a couple days ago, and so again, I'm doing this video. I know I had shared I had a couple Bibles coming in this month. This one was one that I had coming in this month. And this one just, it makes me so excited. that I, I like the multicolored ribbons. The cover is still flexible. Again, it's, it's a little bit stiffer than the Charfleet cover. And the hinge is a little bit stiffer than the Charfleet cover, but not as much as the Youngblood. Like these are, it'll lay flat. There's a little bit of a teeter like you saw in the last one, but the cover wants to lay a little bit more flat than the Youngblood one does. And again, these are uh, ESV. And so Youngblood did my New American Standard, Chant did all my ESVs, and Charfleet did my New Living Translation. And I bought this one used from a guy who took really good care of it. it still smells amazing. And uh, anyway, that's just a quick look at my Allen Readers collection. And hopefully this video helps. And maybe if you're on the fence about an Allen, then now you can kind of see what the big deal is about the readers. Is just their flexibility, the nice big readable font on a great typesetting and in all of them. Um, they did uh, upgrade their paper when they started doing the ESV and the New American Standard readers. The paper in both those are a lot better than the paper in the New Living readers. But uh, regardless, just all the readers editions have been spectacular and I like them a lot and I wanted to give some uh, Alan love on the channel too because I've been doing a lot of Skylar and I love Skylar. I love, like those guys a lot. This one just uh, came in today so I wanted to share that with you and then just show you some of the diversity from the Alan readers and uh, it, again they're all they all feel different even between the chant tan and the chant brown. The, the hinges feel similar, but there's even just a slight variance in the covers. But again, the joys of natural grain, goat skin on a Bible is you're just gonna have variations within the cover. And each edition is so unique and uh, gets a lot of love. If you see an Allen Reader available and you're on the fence about it, especially if they're brand new, don't sit on the fence for long because they don't last because they're great Bibles. And so just pounce on it, whether again, it's new on eBay, one of the, uh, places where you can buy and trade these things. They go quick and they're always changing color schemes and, and different things and so if there's a color you especially like then jump on that because chances are in a little bit it's going to be a, a little bit more pricey than it is now if you want to get that same color. Hey y'all while you're enjoying this luscious video of these amazing Bibles, I wanted to make you aware that the music 
playing behind this video and all my videos are available at forloveoftheword.bandcamp.com. I'll have that link in the description. This particular track is from the audio Bible I did for the Book of Acts and it's on the Book of Acts instrumental. And so over on that webpage, I have the audio Bible that I've been working on book by book and the instrumentals also available and then the soundtracks with no words from the audio Bible. Also, if you like the work of this channel, you can come by my Patreon page and check me out and support me over there because I am a full-time minister who uh, raises his own support and I do not take a salary from my ministry right now. And so just all the little ways I can bring in income helps me focus on the greater task at hand. And I do have fun doing these videos for everyone. So thanks again for watching. And again, all the links will be in the description. Take care. Bye.